Creative Director Divina Road Light. You're welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you a little story about how I became an entrepreneur and how and why I chose this path. As a child, I've always wanted to be a medical doctor, a physician to be precise. That has always been my dream. But with time I realized, well, I can't even stand blood, I can't stand to see someone get hurt, I can't stand to even see blood apart from my own blood once in a while. But I can't stand some, you know, some pains and all that. So, <laughs> trust me, that would have been a disaster. was growing up in as much as I wanted to be a medical doctor in quotes. I've always been passionate about colors, I've always been passionate about fashion, I've always been passionate about makeup, no jokes. Because then I had this um, big cousin of ours that came to live with us then. So while she's doing her makeup, I'm watching her, you know, keenly. I'm with keen interest, I'm watching her, I'm seeing the way she's applying her products on her face. So at the point she even um, gave me mascara and bought I mean, I mean when I was in school in primary school. She gave me her mascara. So then I'll just use the mascara wand and you know apply on my lashes. She gave me her powder and lip gloss. So all those small small products then once they were I always apply it even while we are going to church I would just do a little touch up on myself. So from then I noticed oh I had this linking you know, to makeup, to fashion, I would like to combine colors, I would like to, okay, how can we combine this and this, how will it come out? So from, while growing up, I've always had, I've always been so passionate about the beauty line. I studied environmental resource management, and while in school, one thing about me is, I like to be a go-getter. Not like I like to be a go-getter. I'm actually, I'm, I'm a born go-getter. So, once I set my mind on something, forget it. As long as it's something that is achievable. As long as it's a project. So, I started in environmental resource management. And while in school, not like I want to blow my trumpet or raise my shoulders. But come on. I was actually one of the best students. I had to put my mind into studies. And it's kind of affected my social life so that's part of the experience while in school so it was more like I lived a triangular life from class to fellowship I was a fellowship church girl yeah to fellowship to class to the hostel so it was just no zero social life it was just books 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 and later on I met four points anyways you know I actually made one of the best results in my set and even till tomorrow, most of my customers will be like, Ah, Queen, how I wish I'm the one that had the results you had, you know? I would have made something out of it. Why would you, after making the whole four points, now you're into makeup, you're running a beauty line. Oh, well. <laughs> At the end of the day, I went to school, I studied, and I graduated well. <laughs> to the glory of God. So while in school, I... <laughs> To be sincere, I actually know I'm passionate about this area, but then I never thought of, you know, taking this full time, becoming an entrepreneur full time. Mm -mm, I didn't see it coming because I was just focused on my academics, and then with the kind of results I was making, most times in all the courses that we would learn in a semester. <coughs> I would ace them. I would ace all, even if it's 10, 10 courses, straight A's. So I was looking at becoming a career woman. I wanted to, you know, work in an establishment or better still, okay, in my final year, as a point, I was actually looking at, I wish I wouldn't be a lecturer. And then I was, at the point, I was actually supposed to go back to school to lecture, but then it didn't work out as I planned. Or a career, you know, working in an oil company or... A very serious big establishment but then all thanks to both Nigeria and 
<laughs> some factors sometimes the way you plan your life it doesn't work out that way so i never saw this coming in school i never they say never use the word bigger but why in school i never saw myself becoming an entrepreneur or pushing this so nah i didn't this journey started in 2015 then after I left school, that was after I've graduated, I, on my own, I was just, you know, trying to do some makeup for myself. I would take my mom's, um, gele. <laughs> I would tie it for myself. That's the sego. Those, you know, strong type. I would tie it for myself and trust me, I looked so funny. The pictures... If I look at them now, if I take a look, a look at them now, I would laugh my ass out because they were really, really so funny. But then I was just practicing. I was, you know, trying to do one or two to myself and trying to learn the craft. Then I went um, for this program, this business summit in House on the Rock Church, Abba. They invited the likes of Steve Harris, the late Obon King, so rest in peace, Feladrio Toye. And some other renowned uh, entrepreneurs and ministers. After that program, they really opened my eyes to a whole lot. They opened my eyes to what you know they can create value by what you're passionate about. You can create value in different ways. And then at the end of the day, imagine I'm passionate about this and I can do this very well, and it can generate um, revenue for me value for money so i'm giving you value for your money they actually opened my eyes to a whole lot and it was there that i i learned never to say no to what my gifting can say yes to so i'm gifted in this area can you do this yes i can so why don't i make money in the process so that was when you know my journey to really take this uh, my passion to another level that was when it started I caught it and I've been running along with it since then. So it was after that program that I had to go to my inner chambers, my inner calculus <laughs> to pray about it and tell God about it. Look and look and look and look and look at this gift. She placed it in me. Even how to make hair. Oh, <laughs> when I was younger, so I remember that. Then my younger sister, when she would be going to um, school, I would braid her hair. I didn't learn that anywhere. You know, unlike okay, makeup, I went to learn it professionally. But then, all those other giftings, you know, even how to fix nails from when I was. That was when I picked. I just knew how to do these things effortlessly. So, I also had to go back to my inner calculus, inner chambers. Father Lord, look at the, these gifts that you placed in me. It is time to, you know, use them. It's time to bring them out to their full potential. After praying about it i i started making inquiries for different makeup houses i checked out some makeup houses and finally settled for zara so i asked questions here and there and i kind of okay this is it and trust me then i didn't have <laughs> i didn't have a dime i didn't have money <laughs> because the training <laughs> was running into hundreds of thousands and then you know with the package that came with it they will provide uh, products for the training after the training they will still give me some zero products i'll become a distributor i have to go back to god <laughs> oh lord look at my dream look at as of then i even started even before i went for the train i started drafting out that was when i caught this vision of a beauty line okay even though i haven't um undergone the professional training to become a professional makeup artist but at least I know one or two about colors, color combination. I can, you know, do this, do that. And also, I can style hair. I wasn't taught. I didn't learn it from anywhere, like I said previously. So I can style hair, I can fix nails, I can combine colors and, you know, know how to do one or two. I say, good. It's, for now, I need to, you know, take this makeup to, on a, from a professional angle. I need to learn how to do this professionally. But I don't have the money, I don't have the resources. You have to come through for me. Oh. Then I started drafting. Then I was saying, okay, House of Queen. House of, I was just trying to find the name for it. Where 
I go sit down that day, even the dates and everything that has to do with my dream, my vision, where a lady can walk into, you know, a space, one space, and then her all her beauty needs to be taken care of. That was when I wrote down my motto. That was when I, you know, <laughs> I wrote down things that I wanted for the brand. But then there was a specific name for it and I haven't gone through the trainings and all. So I realized, oh, instead of I come to a place, fix my nails, and then I run out to another place to make my hair. I run out to another place to pick up my clothes. I run out to another place to get my makeup done. All these things can be achieved in one place. And I'm passionate about all these areas of the beauty line. So why can't I take it up? You know, that was when ah, I said it, I said it, I said it. And finally, I went to my mom. I talked to my mom. Mommy, I want to learn makeup. Well, she now said, eh, but there are no such places here in our bar. Then I said, eh, hey, he's in Lagos and I've seen somewhere. She said, where? I told her, Zara, trust me, I'm sure she didn't even understand or know all those brands then. But I told her, but ah, the money is a little bit expensive. Oh. I told her the amount. I was to, to my greatest surprise because I was praying and fasting <laughs> for that to be an answered prayer. To my greatest surprise, my mom said, Don't worry, I'll give you the money. Ha! Oh Lord. She left the sitting room then. I went on my knees. Father Lord, Jehovah. Ha! I said cry. I can be a cry baby. <laughs> I said cry. Thank you. You've answered my prayers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know that was when he started. I went for the, I finally went for this training in Lagos. I told God, ah, accommodation is another issue. And God provided accommodation through a friend of mine. Just like that. All the duration of my stay in Lagos, it was stress free and or more. <laughs> and then the next day I said, God, if this is also your you know your will for me. I need to tell my dad that let him just agree without plenty questions. Did I want to meet my dad? That is CEO. Look at look at look at you know, do you know I want to learn this? All these people that do makeup for people that let me just learn it. And by then I just graduated. I've even done my clearance in school. I've not gone for service. So at least let me just learn a skill. Let me learn something by the corner. He just agreed. Okay, no problem. Ah! Then it was my mom that gave me the money. <laughs> the bulk money. Well that day, the morning I was travel. My dad that gave me transport fare and even drove me to the park himself. So I went and after the training, I came back, did my clearance in school, went for service. So as of the time I was doing my clearance, I was a professional makeup artist as of 2015. And when I went for service, even while in camp and after camp, I was also doing makeup for people. Then I was always wearing makeup. So once you see me, oh, I like your makeup. Oh, I'm a makeup artist. I like your nails. Oh, I fix them myself. I like your hair. Oh, I styled it. You know, so I was I was always representing. Then I also started making clothes. So, but all those other aspects. But then I can actually combine other clothes that either my hair or then made for me or I bought in the market. So I'll combine it. So i like, yeah, I want a full beauty line. I can actually style you from your head to your toes. Come on. So, <laughs> that really helped. I said, Copper, I was making money through makeup, through fixing of nails. Copper would come to my lodge then, to my block. I would fix their nails. I saved up a bit money then. Even, I said, Copper too. I had the privilege of having students that were also fellow Coppers. I had students. I had two students then, they were fellow coppers, but then they came to learn under my makeup brand to also become professional makeup artists. And that was how one of those students, one day she went into town, because I served in KB State, she went into town and then she met one of the um, stepdaughters of the first lady in KB then, and the woman just said, I like your brows, she now said, yay! I'm a makeup artist and I'm learning under somebody. By then she hasn't started training under me. And then I said, Oh, I would like to meet, you know, can you people do makeup for my mom? She now came and called me. I was like, Whoa, what am I here for? Then they're now dressed very fine and we went to the government house for interview. That was it. Now started asking questions and before you know it, I became the professional makeup artist of the then um, first lady in KB State and I was I did her makeup several times, even though I passed out. I did her makeup and I went there twice. In the, they had this function 
cast awareness something something then so they went for the event the, in the morning i did a makeup then at night too i also went back and also did her makeup for the um night party even then i met the deputy governor of KB states then and you know when he came he was like ah this is your makeup products all these things on somebody's face we joked about it and laughed about it and so by then i also ha ah, oh mom, this is getting serious even in my platoon then i was the makeup artist when we had um night nice events and programs to showcase apart from me also being in you know dancing or acting i also do their makeup and even in my CDS, then dance and drama, there was this event that we held, and I also had to do their makeup, style them, and I was part of the team, and it was it was a wonderful. So from 2015, officially the journey, you know, to become an entrepreneur started. I took the first step, first step, second step, and before you know it, since then I've been taking steps one day at a time and one step at a time. I've been taking the steps. youth service i left kd state and i came back to the east i actually didn't plan setting up at all i actually had in mind to you know take this as a side hustle find a job somewhere so i'll be working and because if i went for service i've had some brides already that i did make up for so I just felt, okay, since weddings are always weekend events, so I would work during the week, and then some weekends, I would, if I have a bride, I would go attend to the bride and then come back to my work. <laughs> I now came back to the East, and I started applying for jobs. I sent out my CVs. Oh, you know, that is not, after I made one of the best results now, I didn't even get to the level of let them get to see my results, talk more of an interview. I never had an interview. I sent out CVs. Even my mom would be sending me links. You know, okay, apply here, apply there. Sincerely, I really wanted to do the regular nine to five. I applied. I applied and I got tired of that. I was getting frustrated. I was getting, I don't want to use the word depressed at that point, but I was just getting frustrated. I was just thinking, I just needed a job. I needed, you know, something. Now I just finished serving. Now the next thing, you know, life has just. Or that other one. after this, 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 the next step, this, the next step. I just need to work, but it wasn't forthcoming. So one night, after I've sent out my CVs to different establishments, so many I even had to subscribe to one email <laughs> link that will be sending me. You know, when there are job openings anyway, they will send me links. I, after I've, I have finished. Um, sending my CVs to those different establishments, I laid down on my bed and I heard it clearly. When I mean clearly, I heard it clearly. The job you are looking for is in your hands. <laughs> it was so clear that nobody could tell me otherwise. The job you are looking for is in your hands <laughs> that was why i knew this is it for me enough of submitting cvs here and there enough of trying to be frustrated why the job i'm looking for is in my hands that was when the birth of divina beauty line started coming about before then i used to go by the name chic i already had my branded t-shirt I already had complimentary cards, I already had flyers, you know, that went by the name Chic, Chi, Chin MRM, and then Q, Q U E. So combined with that Chic, <laughs> that was where I knew, okay, this is it, the job I'm looking for is in my hands. And that night, I said, this was it for me. No more submitting of um, CV to any establishment, no more trying to reach out to this person and that person to ask if there are job opportunities anywhere because the job I am looking for is actually in my hands and that was it for me, that was the turning point for me The journey, <clears throat> my oh my, like you said it's a journey and it's still an ongoing um, process 
there are days where you feel like oh fate has smiled on me you're getting all the clients you're getting all the money that period you know things are just flowing and then there are days <laughs> it's like everybody everything has turned against you clients are not coming the money is not coming in nothing so but you just have to keep pushing you just have to keep pushing it hasn't been an easy journey i wouldn't say it has been easy it hasn't been an easy one but then the only thing that keeps me going is god and like i said initially i can be a go-getter so that's go-getting spirit you know it keeps me going i keep pushing i keep that's it's still a journey you want to continue to be a journey to you Probably the day I get old and leave this earth by God's grace, but then it's a continuous journey. Most days it's so easy, it's so sweet, and other days I cry my eyes out, I wet my pillow with my tears, and the other day I ask myself, Who sent me? Who sent me? <laughs> you thought I had clearly. Mm -hmm. That's the job I'm looking for is in my hands. Ah, by now, since the trust I would have given up, I would have. Give me up. I said, I'm not doing a game, please. I'm going to be my mother's daughter. I beg. So, you know, independent life and trying to be an interpreter is not for me. But then, that God gets the spirit and then it's God by my side. At each point, even when I just feel like giving up, he just knows how to bring either the right client or, you know, the right customer that will come. Okay, I want this or I want that. And he has been supplying all my needs according to his peace and glory. Yes.